This is a press briefing, like I said, holding at the national headquarters of the Department of State Services, DSS Abuja, on a joint security operation carried out on the 1st of July at Ibadan, or your state. In the early hours, about 1034 hours to be precise, today, 1st July 2021, a joint team of uh, security operatives raided the residence of Sunday Adeniyi Adeyemo, also known as Sunday Iboho, Ashoka, Ibadan, or your state. This was based on intelligence that he has stockpiled arms in the place. On approach to the residence, the team came under heavy gun attack by nine men suspected to be Boho's guards. Six of them were armed with AK-47 gun and three others with pump action rifle rifles. In the course of the exchange, two of Iboho's armed men were gone down while the rest were subdued and arrested. Only one operative who was shot by the assailants on his right hand sustained injury. He has, however, received medical attention and is very stable. Afterwards, the team procedurally searched the house of Iboho and subsequently recovered the following items amongst others. One, seven AK-47 assault rifles, as you can see on display. Three pump action rifles, they are also there. 30 fully charged AK-47 magazines. 5,000 rounds of 7.62 mm ammunition, five cutlasses, one jackknife, one pen knife, two pistol holsters, one binoculars, a wallet containing five US dollars in one dollar denomination, local and international driver's licenses in his name, ATM cards, a German residence permit number Y02N6K1NY bearing his name, two whistles, 50 cartridges, 18 walkie talkies, three voodoo charm jackets or traditional body armor, two laptops, one Toshiba, and one compact and his international passport and those of many others are displayed there. For the exploitation and forensic analysis of these items and others are ongoing. You may wish to note that aside the items recovered from the building, about 13 suspects, about 13 suspects including 12 males and one female were arrested and brought to Abuja. While one suspect is being profiled, the 12 paraded here are, please, can, they, can we see the suspects, please? It's OK. Are they all? Are they all? OK. These 12 suspects paraded before you and Nigerians, and indeed the world, are Abdul Latif Oye Ofeyabwe, Abdul Latif Ofeyabwe, Amoda Babatunde, alias Lady K, the only female amongst them, Tajuddin Erinoye, Diakola Ademola, Abidin Shitu Felu, Oluwa Felu Mi Kunle, Raji Kazim, Taiwo Obeyemi, and the Bamidele Sunday. A gentleman of the press, 
The highlights of this brief are to inform Nigerians and the world that Sunday Iboho and his group, in the guise of campaign for self-determination, have become well-armed and determined to undermine public order. This, the arrests and seizures are no doubt a confirmation of a grand plan by Iboho and his cohorts to wage a violent insurrection against the Nigerian state. Another is to alert foreign missions and licensing authorities within and outside Nigeria about this development and the possibility that Iboho could declare and the possibility that Iboho could declare some of his personal permit and identity cards missing in order to seek their replacement. It is also to appraise stakeholders that the five AK-47 rifles, assault rifles recovered from the building are suspected to be those collected by Igbo men from Nigerian customs and immigration personnel at Idiroko in Ogun State. I think mail last, uh, last month or thereabouts. The gun duel, which lasted for an hour, offered Igbo the chance to escape. Sunday, Bo Sunday Adeemo, alias Sunday Boho, is now on the run. Iboho may run as far as he can. He may hide as long as he wants. He might have attacked security operatives as his strength carried him, but this will be the end of uh, his uh, shenanigans. Soon, he will not have a hiding place. His strength will sure fail him, and the law will catch up with him. The law may be slow, but indeed it will be steady. Consequently, Adeemo or Iboho is advised to turn himself into the nearest security agency. Those cheering and eulogizing him may appeal to or advise him to do the needful. He should surrender himself to the appropriate authorities. He, or anyone for that matter, can never be above the law. Meanwhile, those arrested will be charged accordingly. I remain yours sincerely. Peter Afnaya, PAG, the PRO of the DSS. Thank you very much, and have a very good evening. Thank you.